<laughs> You're shivering. I'm shivering, I am, but I'll I'll deal with it. <laughs> You're just like a you're talking, but nothing coming out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so, even though I'm freezing, what what's the big hills over there? Those ones we call the Pingus, and uh, uh -huh. in our language we call them Ibiut. Ibiut? Ibiut. Like the biggest one there is growing about an inch a year, inch and oh, a quarter. Oh, really? And under, un, un, underneath East Pingo, there's an underground lake. And, okay. uh, and the lake is slowly freezing. When the uh, water freezes, it expands. Yes. And so it's being, they're growing or being pushed up into the... Oh, so it's literally a growing lake. Yeah. So do your people have like any like legends and things like that about the Pingos? There were three polar bears that were brothers that were offshore. Uh -huh. and lived offshore and they never came into contact with, with humans. So they saw the Ibiuk or the Pingo. Uh -huh. So they got sight, sight of land from way out there. And one of the brothers, the oldest one said, okay, we should make contact with a human and let's birth ourselves in human. Uh -huh. And so the uh, elder polar bear said, I'll go to the, I'll use these landmarks, the Pingos, and come into contact with people. And he counseled the, uh, one of the brothers to go east, the uh -huh. other one go west. They said, okay, there's gonna be a lot of spiritual changes. I mean, these are spirits talking. Every once in a while, we'll do a spirit travel and we'll visit each other to see how things are going. Yeah. Okay, we'll learn from each other. Yeah. Tingos, you know, like friends, is make to that connection with us, mm -hmm. you know, to the spiritual side of it. Yeah. and the meaning of the polar bear to us. So a lot of people call the polar bear the icon of the North. Well, for us, it's way more than an icon. Yeah, he's a way of life. He's a, a spirit. Of life. 